Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my very, very final Halloween DIY and I'm sitting here right now a little bit speechless. It has taken me about three days to make it, well, three evenings after work to make it. Oh, if I could marry a DIY, <laughs> I'd marry this one. This video, hopefully, is going to go up in two. So there'll be a two part, the box and all of the bits inside. Purely because I know it's really hard to... 30 minutes to sit down and watch a video and I really want you guys to watch this so I'm hopefully going to break it up into two 10 minute videos depending on editing and all of that jazz so it is going to upload together hopefully but so you'll be able to watch them back to back if you've got time um but I didn't want to put out a half an hour video because life is not like that but yeah I hope you like the look of this one guys <laughs> it's got to be my favorite DIY to date I'm not gonna lie but yeah, I really hope you love it and I'm going to stop talking because it's a long one and if you check out part one, make sure you check out part two. This project is so big, even just looking at all of this, <laughs> my head hurts. So yeah, there's so much here, I don't even know where to begin. I'll begin with the cabinet. This is a box that my um, other half got. He got a really nice gift set of skull goblets and some skull mugs. Um, and it came in this, yeah, it actually says skull box on there. Yeah, it's going to be absolutely perfect for my little, my tiny apothecary cabinet. And then I have all of these bottles here from the works, Poundland, donated to me by my colleague. I have some foam board to create the shelves. I've got all manner of stuff here that I just feel like would work really, really well. I've got some labels here that I printed off for the bottles and the jars. Yeah, spray paint, loads, absolutely loads. Twine, spiders, you name it. I have this wreath that was also given to me by a colleague. So yeah, um, Guy, if you're watching, I'll probably be ripping this up. I'm so sorry. But I will be using the roses and I'll be using every aspect of it. So yeah, it's just perfect for this added decoration. I also have all of my tools, my hot glue gun, my scissors, my Stanley knife, all of those things to put this together. So... Section one of the video is going to be the cabinet. So this little box is hinged. I'm actually oh, really, really debating whether to keep the front or not and make it into an actual open, closable cabinet or just take the front off. My initial thought is to take it off. So I am gonna go ahead and unscrew it from here. The, the front is screwed on, so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna take it outside and spray paint it black. And while I can and while it's not raining, I am going to take a few of these bottles and jars out to give them a spray. Also, I'm not spraying all of them, so I'm leaving some clear, but I am going to spray some black. So my box has been painted and it is dry. I'm going to go over it with different paints. But in the meantime, I need to measure out some foam board shelves. So I'm just laying my bottles kind of like this so that when it's standing up, I know how much room I need to give them. So I feel like I'm going to have a bigger one up here maybe a compartment here. So I'm just gonna have a fiddle around with the ruler, measure out where I want my compartments to go. And I'm also gonna put in my little ones. You know, I might even have a tiny little compartment up here. It just really depends on what size bottles you're using and how much you can fit into your cabinet. gonna go for the hot glue I'm not worried about being neat I'm just worried about getting the coverage on I'm not worried about being neat at all this stuff dries quick so you have to work quick I'm sticking them in so that the neat edge is facing me and then I'm just gonna hold it in place but I will be reinforcing 
all of the insides, both sides, with hot glue at some point. Now, does anyone remember? <laughs> does anyone remember where all these went? Dum dum dum. dum. shelves in they are pretty solid all i'm gonna do now is just go over it this was chalk paint so it still feels a bit chalky i've got absolutely no rules whatsoever i'm just gonna go and cover it completely in all of these paints and make it look as muddy as messy well maybe not messy but yeah <laughs> aged is the word i'm looking for aged <laughs> I have finished painting so I really did attack this with the paintbrush I just used this paintbrush as you saw every color just threw it on there and then to end it I topped it off with the gold so I just whacked the edges literally like this tapped all the edges with the gold I am gonna leave this now to dry overnight inside of the box is done the gold really does show up in that light but actually um, without a light shining directly on it it's not that bright um, but yeah I'm absolutely loving it solid as a rock so it is dry what I'm gonna do now is similar to my skulls if you saw the last video I'm just going to emboss the frame of the box
is now time to do all the decorations for inside this cabinet. So what I've done, I've just placed all of the little bits and bobs that I've got in here. I've just placed them in. I haven't decorated them yet, but I'm just seeing where they work. I did measure. You would have seen that in the beginning, but for whatever reason, I've, I messed up a few measurements. So this one here is wedged in, but that's fine. Yeah, so I'm just placing them where I want them, taking some photos of where I'm happy with them being, taking them all out, and now we're going to decorate them and then put them back in. <laughs> 